Hey, I spend a lot of my time, especially after the spawn, offshore structure fishing. One of my favorite baits is the DD-22. The one thing I like about it is the bill style. So if you're, let's say you're fishing a river ledge and you come over the cover on the ledge, be it wood or brush piles, if the bait dives in and gets stuck in it, all you have to do is slack line the bait, shake the rod tip a couple times, and the way the bill design, the bait floats up backwards and it comes out of the cover and then you can continue your retrieve right through the cover. Another neat feature about the DD-22 is a lot of crankbaits will dive straight down to depth. This bait swims down to depth. So what happens is, let's say you're on a river ledge and you got a big 15 foot flat on the high spot. You can cast way up on the flat. It swims down, stays in that range, 15 to 17, all the way down the flat. And then when it come, you come over the brake line, it swims through the suspending fish. Here's the cool thing about it is, it catches the fish that are relating to the bottom and it also catches the suspending fish because it'll swim right through the suspending school. Instead of diving past them real fast, it swims through them. This is one of my all-time favorite summertime structure fishing baits. There he is. All right, that seems like a pretty good one. Oh yeah, here's what I'm doing. I'm throwing the Norman DD-22. I'm fishing main, main river structure edges with it. Uh oh. All right. I'm fishing main river channel edges. The DD22 swims down to depth, and it's 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 like a double action. So here's what happens when you're fishing on the high spot. You're digging the bottom. When you bust free from the high spot, it swims through the bait fish and it catches the suspended fish that are suspending off the edge. That's why I love this bait so much. Another neat attribute about it, it's made from buterite. So it offers a low th thud sound, which resonates extremely well in the fish's lateral line. I'm gonna chuck this bass back and see if we can't hopefully catch another one. This is where I live. I love offshore fishing. Oh my gosh, this is so good. 